Well, howdy everyone, Randy here. Uh, in case you missed the last Daily Grower live show, I'm taking a little break from YouTube farming and all those sorts of things during July. But I wanted to stop and do a quick video to show you that when I went back to North Carolina in uh, April for the Great American Farm Tour episode of Rooted, uh, I gave you a behind the scenes. Well, that video actually is out. Justin released it to his members. And I just wanted to share with you a couple of my, um, just, well, parts that I was in, obviously, but uh, just some really fun parts from that video and some of the, some of the interview. So enjoy, here's a couple of clips from that. He was there in Minnesota in July and it was in, you know, the low 90 degrees. And he said something about, I don't, I didn't think it got that hot here. And so like all good Minnesotans, I have, you know, a plethora of weather facts about the state. And then we love to talk about the weather. And I uh, had just said, you know, it gets 60 below zero here. And he kind of, he still didn't look at me, but he stopped. Minus 60? Don't bad things happen at minus 60? Yeah, your car won't start and your phrase freezes off in three minutes. He was in the middle of evaluating all 50 states in the US. And when I said it gets 92, but it also gets minus 60, and you have you know, whatever that is, 152 degree swing in your, in your climate, I think that probably set off a little bit of a red flag <laughs> of do we really want to live here or not? You know, we met people like Randy in minus 60 Minnesota, then all the way to Arizona, three inches of rain, and them too being happy. If they can be happy in minus 60, and three inches of rain, well then I can be happy with what I've got. We've done more in the, the three years since the Great American Farm Tour than we ever did in our, our whole homestead of 15 year career. And it's because we explored that itch and we scratched it we saw America and we saw how content people were despite their problems, no place was perfect. We're like, we're gonna embrace this place. We're gonna grow where we're planted, so to speak. We're gonna get rooted here. And because we got rid of all dissatisfaction, we could really set in here. I think it was Saturday morning you know, we're just doing regular Saturday morning thing. I think we were getting ready to go somewhere and text from Justin. And, and he said, we have a situation where this you. How, how, how do I, how do I do this? And I think, okay, Randy. And I knew he had sheep and I knew he had lamb. What do I do, Randy? This, 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 this heads out. I remember I turned to my wife, I said, they, they're not seeing the diving position. And she looked at me and she said, that lamb has to come out right now. And you need to take it out. You need to pull it out. Try to reach in there and see if you can't get a hoof, pull it out. So I said, all right, I had a plan. I went down there and I'm sitting by that sheep and I'm like, okay. And I'm pulling so hard, this, this lamb is just falling under the pressure. And, and then the sheep just lets off this terrible uh, bleat. And I'm, I like lose my religion and it's like, oh no, you know, it's just too stressful. I think I'm gonna kill the sheep. So I'm just pulling and finally. And, and there's the baby lamb. That mama would have died. And 
That's when it hit me. In that moment, if it weren't for Randy, that sheep would have died. And if I hadn't have gone on the Great American Farm Tour, I wouldn't have had Randy. So sure, we set out to learn from these people in the Great American Farm Tour, but we got something even better. Our black books is rich with lifelong guides, but even, even more important, friends and community. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm out here checking on the sheep, got my umbrella with me because we are gonna actually get, I think, the second rain of the whole summer. It is crazy, crazy dry here. So uh, while I'm on my break, I have been thinking about you guys on YouTube and I have another video that I'm working on uh, that'll be about how to keep your pastures uh, green and lush, even during crazy droughts like we're having right now where everything is just dry. It's just dry. But you can see we have parts of our pasture here that are really nice and green uh, down there. Yeah. So there's ways to do it and we've come upon a little bit of that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out the clips. Uh, if you want to see Rooted the entire episode, you have to be part of Abundance Plus. I'll put a link in the description. I don't, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I'm just happy to share what Justin's doing because, well, I was in it and I helped him build it and uh, it's just a really great community. It's going to be a lot more than just content that Justin has. He's also um, going to get a whole bunch of stuff and actually already has started getting content from other great homestead and permaculture creators and also other homestead vloggers. So uh, uh, there's a link in the description for you to check that out if you're not a part of it. Uh, I uh, would be, I'd just say give it a shot. I think there's even a trial period for it as well. So take a look at that and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.